happen to wise women like this woman. Here's why and why she explains why you shouldn't aspire to be a single mother but have a father and a good man in your life. At the standard, like, okay, I'm a single mother. I have a daughter. My daughter's 18. People have always told her, oh, you know, your mom has it all together. You have a good life. You travel. No, I need to be honest with her and say, no, I don't want you to be a single mother. Get married. Find a nice man that, you know, has some standards, some family values that you can raise a nice family with. This is not how it's supposed to be done. Right. I don't care how great it looks. It's not the way to go. Fire. Mission. And also my thought to women is I think it's extremely important to think carefully. Any woman who loves her kids is going to think extremely carefully about who she lets into her body. Uh, I have seen so many children have their heart broken because their daddy was garbage and they're looking at their mother thinking, why did you choose to get impregnated by a piece of garbage? You know, that one guy who could have been more reliable, who could have been a great dad. Uh, you didn't pick him because he doesn't he do, he didn't seem uh, fly enough and have enough swag and didn't wear alligator shoes and didn't say the right thing to you uh, when, when you when you got together and went out on a date. He didn't smell he didn't smell good with the with the sexy cologne or whatever. So literally my whole future has been altered because you wanted to be with the man who uh, who who had a lot of swag like that. That just that's just so crazy to me that's something very basic or or the man who played hard to get or or the man who was a little cuter than the other guy I, I just really think that's fascinating that to me is the ultimate butterfly effect where literally a whole a child's whole life their whole reality their experiences over the next 50 years have been altered because their mother thought one guy was too much of a nerd and, and too boring and the other guy was interesting and exciting but the interesting exciting guy broke your heart abandoning your child, didn't provide resources, made your child live a life where they feel abandoned, hurt, lonely, sad, and they go through life looking for love in all the wrong places because you did not provide that kid with a father who actually cares about them enough to be there for them uh, on a consistent basis. I, I just really think this is something where we don't think carefully enough about it. Obviously, it's a wealth conversation too. Uh, I think there's nothing wrong with a woman having certain expectations and standards of the types of men that she would even sleep with. Yeah. Ma'am, book a session. Are you and your, why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with? He wasn't good enough for me. Well then that's your, okay. So what I need you to understand on the open dating market, you come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that would say she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her, a baby. Sorry, ma'am. Don't get upset because- I agree with that. But if you agree with it, then understand- I agree there's with a that reason. Part, but I also want to say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in yes, my but, life because but, oh, yeah, you, oh yeah you are but you, you are stop no, yeah you are. And, uh, and people are always like your standards are too high honey my standards are in heaven with the lord they're not coming down anytime soon okay ma'am book a session are you and your why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with he wasn't good enough for me well then that's your okay so what i need you to understand now, on the open dating market, you come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that would say she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her, a baby. Sorry, ma'am. Don't get upset because- I agree with that. But if you agree with it, then understand I agree there's with that a reason. Part, but I also want to say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in yes, my but, life because. But, oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you are. But you, you are. Stop. No, yeah, you are. All right, y'all. Oh, here's the deal. I'm about to share the uncomfortable truth about dating a single mom. Now, I've seen it all over the Internet and I decided as a single mother, let me just be honest. Let's get into it, family. I'm telling on myself, but it's all good. Number one, you will have less availability. 
Can't be too flexible with the scheduling. It is what it is. Number two, there will be more expectation. When a child is involved, you are dating intentionally, you gonna be looking for more because it's not just about you. It's about your babies too. Number three, this goes along with the last one, more picky or pickier. I'm not sure which one is grammatically correct. Number four, more intentional. There will be less games being played. Can't speak in extreme, but I would assume most women that have children are gonna be way more intentional. Number five, the potential of more responsibility. If it goes well, you'll be a stepdad. So it does come with more. Number six, the potential of more baggage. Number seven, may be way more mature to the increase of responsibility of caring for a child. This guy commented and said that my dating standards are too high for someone that's a single mother. I have high standards because I'm a single mother. I cannot afford to let somebody play in my face. And who told you that being a single mother disqualifies you from actually having standards and having to settle? I don't know who misled you, but the moment that I became a single mother was the moment I knew I cannot settle. I must always lead by example because I have a little girl looking up to me, okay? Get with it or get lost. This guy commented and said that my dating standards are too high for someone that's a single mother. I have high standards because I'm a single mother. I cannot afford to let somebody play in my face. And who told you that being a single mother disqualifies you from actually having standards and having to settle? I don't know who misled you, but the moment that I became a single mother was the moment I knew I cannot settle. I must always lead by example. So if you're a single mom, don't let anybody make you feel bad about the standards that you set or the decisions that you make regarding the company that you keep. Don't let anyone make you feel worthless. Don't let anyone make you feel like when you set a boundary or a standard that you're asking for too much. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing, boo. Whether you're a single mom who's never been married or you're a single mom as a product of a divorce, you have the right to ask for what you feel that you deserve. And don't compromise on that. Because people who want you to compromise on that want to take advantage of you. See, I'm a single mom and people try to make us feel low. People try to make us feel like we're the bottom of the barrel. Like we have to take scraps because we've birthed a child and literally have created life to progress our society. No, boo. You are the prize. <laughs> That's so corny. But you are. And if someone doesn't want to see your worth or your value, you don't need them in your life. Remember that. Okay? I'm Joe's, just don't invite me out to dinner and drinks. Get creative. Invite me out for an activity. Do something different. Do something that's going to be worth my time and effort. I am taking time out of my evening to meet with you, to go and enjoy your company, you know, to see how things work. If we're compatible, I'm making an effort. So I expect you to make an effort. So don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. Also, and offer to pay for the babysitter. That's going to make me more receptive to want to go and spend my time with you. And another... Th Holy shit, lady, you got my blood pressure rolling through the roof out here. Who the hell do you think you are demanding, because you're a single mom, poor, poor, pitiful you, that he needs to pay for your babysitter to take you on a date? I cannot even believe. The only thing I can think of is, lady, you have got some big balls to even put that demand out there publicly. That child is not that man's responsibility. It is not his responsibility to pay for your babysitter. Besides that, I'm sure that that child has a daddy. And you know, when the moms have custody and the dads don't, I haven't met a dad out there who, if the mom called and said, hey, can you keep, um, the baby tonight so I can go out, that dad would jump on that chance. That's a free babysitter. So, and that's not just leaving your child with anyone. Besides that, you go on and on about how busy your life is and what a strong, independent woman you are. And oh my God, you have so many things to do. If you are so busy, then get your ass off the dating apps and leave these men alone. Because obviously you're too busy. And then you want to tell him to plan a date that you might or might not show up to. But I guarantee you, if a man didn't show up to a date that you had planned, you would be pissed. But you think it's okay for you to do it? What about the single dads out there? Are you going to go pay for their babysitter? No, and a single dad wouldn't even ask you to do anything like that. You're a ballsy lady. Get off the dating apps. Leave these men alone. Because I don't know one man out there that is going to meet your entitlement, 
demands just because you're a single mother doesn't make you privileged, doesn't make you entitled, doesn't make you anything but just another woman with a shitload of demands. Is that account accountable? Do it, friend. I'm gonna be accountable. My first baby daddy wasn't the best. I was disrespected. I was this, 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 right? Hypothetical, right? Ex husband. Ex husband. This is hypothetical. So, uh -huh. baby daddy, whatever. So, he wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a baby by an alpha. But then I met a man. And he respected me. He treated me well. He raised my kids. We became a partnership. We built something strong. The world sees him as a beta. Yep. A so when we are accountable and we say, this is the bad decision that I made, but I will no longer make that decision. Then they I still make fun of you. Then they still make fun of you. Then they still say you were They still say, oh, but she was a whole back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Eight artists. Yeah, yeah, you just did yes. it, so say it's true. Yeah. All right, Mr. Lego. Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, no, let no, me, no, I'm, let me, let me, let me, let me get the explanation to that. I feel like motherhood changed me so much. Mm -hmm. And although I'm married, I'm not single. Mm -hmm. Mental, my mental, that my, it's not because I'm, I'm my, my mental isn't married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my yeah, mental yeah, is my yeah. mental. Yeah. So when I tell you, my, my, a lot of stuff about me changed. I value myself more. I value my time more. I don't really give my time and my energy to shit that just don't, that don't matter, don't equate to nothing. Mm -hmm. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, you know, like Papa, I would literally be like, you know what? <laughs> I want a single woman because a single, a, a single mom, mom, they know how to get shit done. Mm -hmm. They, they literally, they, they really be like the, the grade A people for real, for real. It'd be a single women, the, uh, the, them, not us, because I got to But you got to be careful. Right. But well, when I, I was, advocate with you that, do have though. to be So if you're a single mom, don't let anybody make you feel bad about the standards that you set or the decisions that you make regarding the company that you keep. Don't let anyone make you feel worthless. Don't let anyone make you feel like when you set a boundary or a standard that you're asking for too much. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing, boo. Whether you're a single mom who's never been married or you're a single mom as a product of a divorce, you have the right to ask for what you feel that you deserve and don't compromise on that because people who want you to compromise on that want to take advantage of you. See, I'm a single mom and people try to make us feel low. People try to make us feel like we're the bottom of the barrel, like we have to take scraps because we've birthed a child and literally have created life to progress our society. No, boo. You are the prize. <laughs> That's so corny, but you are. And if someone doesn't want to see your worth or your value, you don't need them in your life. Remember that, okay? So I will say that it's a problem with both men and women. Yes. I don't think in general we're being raised to be marriage minded because a lot of people aren't getting married anymore like they used to. Yes. So someone posted something on my YouTube channel and they were like, black women are raised to be mothers or single mothers, but not raised to be wives. Wives. I've seen something like that. Yeah. So it's like those qualities. Yes. Those are things that a man yes. can appreciate. But how do you operate in a partnership? How do you function right. as a unit? When you start thinking about those qualities, I think that's where we struggle a little bit. Yep. And it sucks because I think we're getting, again, the short end of the stick. We were raised in environments where we have to have a tougher exterior. Yes. From a young age, you have to, like, grow up really quick. And so I think we just have to unlearn a right. lot of those things. And that's conflicting with us trying to be in a relationship.